This simultaneous translation business, like taking a room in the Tower of Babel. <laughs> and this, I can assure you, whoever designed those electronic earmuffs... Yes, earphones, Sir Geoffrey. <laughs> earphones. Whoever designed them did not try them over a barrister's wig. Uh, well, not to worry, I knew they would be most becoming. <laughs> <laughs> they changed my style. Who's that over there? He's a psychologist. The army transferred him over here to consult on the suicide risk of the prisoners. Let's get going. Cheers. Bob. Now, Francis, I had arranged for a flight to pick you up. You were meant to be here two weeks ago. What happened? You developed a sudden craving for shuffleboard? <laughs> I just needed a little time to get myself up to speed. I worked the whole way over. Be prepared. Any of my colleagues here? I'd like to meet them. Uh, perhaps later on. I need to talk to you about something. Huh. You must drink some vodka. No, 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 no. Thank you. Oh, you must try I'm some. It makes it very strong. The cognac. It? Oh. But we do it all you the time. You can't mix it. Oh, we do in Russia all the time. Not in France. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay. Look at this part. It was a gift from my family. After the trial, I'm going to donate this along with my papers to my alma mater. I think future generations... Francis. Will... On the subject of who will serve as president of the court, and the British are prepared to support you, but... Um... Yes? But it's not in the best interest of the trial. The Americans are far too dominant in this thing already. The trial must be viewed as a joint effort. I really do have the qualifications. I know you do. Not me, then who? Sir Geoffrey Lawrence. The British share our sensibilities, and it's a hell of a lot better than having Devob or God knows Nikachenko. I think I can sell the French on this idea, too. Everyone back home assumes that I will be head of the court. Francis, your role here will be of incredible importance. This is probably the last appointment of my career, Bob. This is how I'm going out with great honor. Francis, you will be camping your career with great honor. Now that Lay's done himself in, <laughs> who should we get to replace him in the dock? Well, that's not a Broadway show, Johnny. We don't just bring out an understudy. We've still got 21 left. 21's a good, solid number. Boys, they're coming back. Oh, Biddle doesn't look too happy. Well, can you blame him? Gentlemen, if I may, I'd like to introduce Judge Francis Biddle. Oh, nice to see you. Sir Jeffrey Lawrence. Yes, I'm delighted. Do, Sir Judge Devon. Mm -hmm. David Maxwell Pike. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a salute to my colleagues in the law. How fortunate we are to be in a profession where we may speak our minds, and not like diplomats who must behave like dogs on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> to the law. To the law. I was wondering if you'd care to dance with me. I'm not much of a dancer. Let's go embarrass ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> 